the biggest organ on your body is the skin, and it's the same for the F-22, and it gets cuts just like me and you do. You have to fix it, or else the, the LO, the stealth, won't work properly. The pilot might not survive. We have a specific team that goes out every night after the jets come down, and they'll spend 45 minutes pretty much just crawling all over the jet, We're looking for new damages, looking for anything that's gotten bigger. If they find something bigger, that has to get towed in right now, it might ground the jet until we fix it. We maintain the mission by keeping the jets stealthy. It consists of picking panels, to painting, to sanding, to using sealants. There's always work to be done. Most times these jets will fly and nobody even know they're there because of the LO. When it goes on a mission and it comes back and they said they didn't even see us, that's awesome. Just because we're doing our job correctly. The mission is stealth. The B-2 stealth bomber is the United States Air Force's premier long-range strike bomber. But what is stealth? Well, today we're going to the Low Observable, or LO shop, because if anyone can tell us, it's Whitman's LO technicians. I'm Senior Airman Victoria Kretzinger. My name is Staff Sergeant Andrew Haddock. As a B-2 LO technician, we fabricate metal surfaces and composite surfaces, and we install, evaluate, and remove LO coatings, which make the B-2 stealth. Sergeant Haddock and Airman Kretzinger do everything from mixing paint to applying the many types of coatings and materials that maintain the capabilities of the world's only stealth bomber. As Missouri Air National Guardsmen assigned to the 131st Bomb Wing, they work shoulder to shoulder every day with the active duty LO Airmen of the 509th Bomb Wing. The big thing about LO is the people. They're really great people here. I like to spend time with them every day. I get to work with them and uh, really it's the people that, that matter. Airmen are what make the mission happen here at Whiteman, and our 131st Guardsmen are no exception. The 509th and 131st Bomb Wings are a total force integrated team, meaning this team dedicates itself to providing strategic deterrence, global strike, and combat support, anytime, anywhere. Sergeant Haddock doesn't just dedicate himself to this mission, but also to the future of all 131st Airmen. As a unit career advisor, I set up the incoming Airmen, uh, help them out and establish their career, not only military but civilian wise too because being in the guard, you're not military all the time. You have a, an outside job and you go to school or uh, whatever it may be that you do in your civilian life and I, I help set them up for success in the future. For the airmen in the Missouri Air National Guard, success is not only growth within their civilian career, it also gives people like Sergeant Haddock and Senior Airman Kretzinger the opportunity to serve their state and country. There's a body shop, and then there's an Air Force body shop. Members of the Missouri Air National Guard's 131st Bomb Wing Low Observable Maintenance Flight keep the B-2 spirit stealthy. The B-2's invisibility couldn't happen without the meticulous work put in by the citizen airmen at Whiteman Air Force Base. The B-2 really, this is it. This is, there's only a certain amount of them, and they're all here at Whiteman and to come here and work on the only bomber that can go out and do what it does is, is none can compare to it. Only hard rubber and plastic tools can be used on the aircraft's body to protect the plane's finish and ensure a flawless paint job. These are plastic scrapers. The materials that we take off the jet, we use this to remove it. The skill and precision needed by the guardsmen who maintain the stealth of the B-2 Spirit explains why this job is in high demand.